I gotta let out my little chicks. Oh, oh my gosh, they're already big. What is this, is it like a sauna? Can we go through here? <gasps> we changed, I've got flip floops. I'm excited, okay, oh, jeez, somebody <laughs> just flung me. The bath monster was like, you're done, get out of here. Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and I am pretty much broke. Welcome to Stardew Valley. Last episode, we said hello to four little baby chicks. You guys helped name them, they're adorable, and I love them to death, but they are bleeding me dry. Not really, they're, you know, they're just kind of eating me out of house and home without producing anything, but that's okay. One day, they're gonna grow up big and strong, we'll get delicious eggs that we can turn into highly coveted mayonnaise, and they'll pay for themselves. But for now, we just gotta nurture them and care for them and make sure Hambone here doesn't eat one of them. You wouldn't do that, would you, buddy? Keep an eye on him, I saw him looking at Drumstick. Also, we picked up our newly upgraded copper axe, and probably the biggest change, it's now summer. So we have a farm full of fresh crops here growing. I worked my little boots off last episode trying to get all this stuff planted, and I still could not do it. We've got some wheat here that I gotta plant, but it's pretty fast growing, so I'm not worried. Gotta chop a few more trees down. There's so much that goes into trying to start a new season. You need so much fertilizer and, you know, lots of digging and tons of tons of work, but it'll pay off. I'm gonna get rid of these dead strawberries because it just reminds me of how life is an express train that has no stops, but that's okay. We're gonna keep moving forward. Uh, I wanna try to make some stuff real quick before we get into watering and exploring and stuff. I'm gonna do some crafting here. Let me get some coal. I'm gonna make, hey buddy. I'm gonna make a, uh, a scarecrow because I'm a little worried about some of the, the crops that are getting farther down here. So let's craft one of those. And also, I wanna try to make a preserves jar and that's gonna, ooh, that's all my coal. So we can't make more than that. I'm gonna pop this down and we'll stick something in there. And then a couple days from now, the preserves fairy will, will pop up and it'll just be full of teeth or something. I don't know, ooh, it's all stinky looking. Remind me, we got it. Let's let's get that mail before I forget here. There we go. I think preserves are more valuable than the fruit and veggies that you put in there. Greetings, Adam. It is our pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up-and-coming column of the Stardew Valley Tribune. Congratulations. We're impressed with your quick progress. Ooh, so I guess we're doing okay. I was worried, but that, you know, that weird paper seems to be confident in us. <laughs> Gonna get rid of that stump here. Let's let our little chicks out and let them graze. I've got these makeshift feeders that I talked about last time. I might make more of these because we do have some wood going on. So uh, let me build a few more little fences. I should start getting into stone fences actually because that would last longer, but that's all right. We already made the wood. Let's just go with it. I'm gonna kind of make these into little areas here. I think that'll, there we go. And then they, they can't get as much of this stuff. Probably better to get this one before the, uh, the wood goes away. It's not letting me place it. There might be a little chick there. I can't see. Is someone hiding in this grass? <laughs> Where are you, little guy? They're just so small that it's hard to, <laughs> to see. Yeah, there's one in there. I'm gonna put one on that. And uh, yeah, I think it needs to be just kind of with a single little grass area there. It's kind of tough to place if there's too much grass going on. There we go. All right, that'll be good. Okay, I'll leave it at that. And uh, I'm gonna do some watering, chop some stuff down, and then we'll do some exploring. Now that it's summer, there should be a lot different out in the valley. Okay, not too much energy left after all that work on the farm, but we're gonna go see what people are up to. Sweet peas, ooh, this is new. We got a silver one already too. So I'm hoping that there's some type of summer equivalent of the field snack, because I used a ton of those. I was just, you know, stuffing my face yesterday trying to get enough energy to keep all this stuff going on the farm. I think the first day is just the, the worst or the most difficult in the season because you got to plant so much new stuff. Ooh, Jazz's birthday's coming up. Maru, she's a hospital worker on her birthday. We have not gone in the clinic before. Maybe we should check this out. Oh, there she is. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> her little hat. Sebastian's my half brother, if you didn't know already. Uh, we look totally different. I have this for you. Here you go. This is a super gift. Thank you. She loves uh, parsnips and cauliflower, and I'm like, maybe I'll just give her the parsnips because they don't cost as much, or they don't sell for as much. <laughs> oh dear, is it an emergency? Why are you here? Oh dear. <laughs> I weren't walked into an appointment. No, just hold still, take a deep breath for me. Luckily, she's got her shirt on. Okay, I'll leave the door clo or open. I don't think I can reclose these. I'll let Maru handle that, give her some busy work. Okay, 
So what's going on around town? I did my little delivery. I wish I had, whoa, what is this? A lucky lunch. Speaking of energy, geez. Maybe I'll save that for when I go into the mine or something to get some extra luck and stuff. Uh, I was gonna try to crack these geodes, but unfortunately we, uh, we can't really do that because we have no money, but maybe we'll have some. Ooh, can't sell that. That's for the museum. What is this thing? I don't even want it. it. looks like a pool floaty or something. A rainbow shell. It's a very beautiful shell. There's towels now on the beach. Who just took their towels here and left them? That's not that responsible. Okay. Bunch of people here. Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. I'm trying to get to Super Saiyan level three. Goodbye for now. All right. And Leah's here with her purple eyes. The sound of farm animals is great, isn't it? I know she's a popular marriage candidate. And I almost, you know, I was tempted because in, in Fire, uh, not Fire Emblem, I'm thinking about what I'm going to record next, too. Uh, in the Harvest Moon games, I usually go for the ranch-oriented type of girl, because you guys saw how excited I got about a little chicken, you know. I'm uh, chickens. I always want to say chicken as the plural, but I know it's chickens. It's just tough to, uh, to remember. All right, doesn't seem like, ooh, there we go. I was going to say, it doesn't seem like there's much left on the beach. We got some extra clay. I think I might try to uh, build one of those wells. It didn't seem like it was that useful, but the more I water stuff and the more I have to go down to those ponds at the uh, the other corner of my farm, the more I'm like, maybe a, a well would be, be good. These guys, they go together well. It's the pretty cheerleader girl and the jock. Do you wear those clothes every day? Jeez. If my hair wasn't so popular with the ladies, I swear I'd shave it off in a second. Uh, life can be tough. You guys are perfect for each other. I'll leave them alone. Is this, this is ice cream. <gasps> Come back when someone's working. So that's what's going on in the summer. We got a little ice cream stand. All right, and we'll give Gunter uh, this, uh, this fan here. He won't take that shell, but I'm sure that's probably important for something. No rewards yet. We got to donate a few more things, but that's all right. That bear was staring at me. So uh, I don't know what else uh, we, we should try to do here because I'm running low on energy. But the first rainy day, guys, I promise we'll get back in the mines. I've been I've been wanting to go back in there and try to complete this quest here. Ooh, we're supposed to give seaweed to Sebastian. I have no idea where to get it. That seems really fitting because he has the name of a particular Disney crab. All right, let's head to bed. Almost out of energy. And, oh, uh-oh. I was waiting for my money. That doesn't sound like money. That sounds like I got a grumbly belly. I didn't eat anything. I've never eaten anything in this game. Oh no, I have eaten things, but <laughs> I de didn't eat anything yesterday. <laughs> Maybe that was what it was. I doubt it. All right, so let's see what's going on here. That was super foreboding. There was an earthquake during the night. I slept through it? Okay, man, sound sleeper. We got some cool new music. Let's see, Queen of Sauce rerun. How's the weather going? It's gonna be clear and sunny. It's summer, so there's not many <laughs> rainy days. And, oh no, we're gonna be very displeased. I hope the earthquake didn't destroy my crops. Oh, they look okay. Got lucky there, all right. We do have some mail. The preserves jar is just kind of like jumping up and down. Let's see, uh, it's Mary Lewis. Adam, this is embarrassing. I, I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I could trust you. If you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay well, thanks, Mary Lewis. Okay, that's a weird quest, but I'll keep my eye open. Uh, I don't know where, where would he have dropped his shorts? Let's go let these little guys out. <gasps> it finally worked. It took a long time, but our tappers have dropped some maple syrup here. We could sell that. I want to use that to make uh, a beekeeping little hive, but I don't know if, uh, if we've got the rest of the materials for that. We've got a little tree trying to grow here. But I got to let out my little chicks. Oh, oh my gosh, they're already big. That was so fast and they got huge appetites. I was just talking about them not, you know, take pay in their own way. This is Lorraine. She doesn't look like Lorraine in Adventure Time because she's brown, but that's okay. This is Peep. So Peep and, uh, and Bach are the two little uh, white feathered chickens. And then this is Drumstick, right? Drumstick's looking fine. They grow so fast, that's awesome. Did they already lay any eggs? Let's go check and see. Yep, they did. <gasps> So cool, okay, let me grab these. <laughs> I might make a, uh, a mayonnaise machine if I can. I think we have the supplies to. Let me see what we need, because there's that, yeah, we need iron before we can make the, the bee house, but that's okay. So wood, stone, oh, we could do this. We can make one of those, let's do it. This is exciting, excuse me, peep. I don't mean to push you out of the way. 
but I, I wasn't expecting them to grow so fast. This is cool. Okay, so what do we need? We gotta get the, uh, was it stone? Let me look again here. Stone, wood, an earth crystal, and a copper bar. So I think I got all that. I don't want that hardwood yet. I'm saving up because we're gonna need that for a, uh, a little upgrade and uh, stable, I think, is, is what it's mostly for. Here we go. We got the mayonnaise machine. I hope we don't need to, like, craft a bunch. I think just one is probably sufficient, I would hope. Drop all this stuff off. Oop, didn't mean to do that. There we go. And I'll keep my... Maybe I'll I'll keep one syrup and then I'll sell the rest. So let's, let's plop this mayonnaise machine down somewhere. I could put it in the coop. I almost think maybe we should just do that because then I can immediately turn the eggs into mayonnaise without having to forget and go back somewhere else. Excuse me, Lorraine. We're going in here. If I can put this down in here, will it let me? It will. Okay, cool. And we'll put... Let me look at these eggs. There's a regular brown and a regular white. There's no difference, I don't think. All right. Put that in. How long does it take to make mayonnaise? It, oh, it might be worth making multiple mayonnaise machines if it is a little time-consuming. I put all this hay in here and they haven't eaten it yet, but that's okay because they're, they're getting their food outside. I'm just going to try to save most of my hay for uh, when the winter comes. Yeah, maybe this should be... <laughs> I don't know if I could break this thing but it uh, and try to carry it into a different place, but maybe we should keep it out there where I can get it a little easier because it takes like an hour, it looks like, an hour in-game time. All right, I have to remember. We're looking for the mayor's shorts. They're not going to be in this little coop. I did pet all these guys, right? There's my super good, good chicken babies, and they're making good stuff. How long does this take? I wonder... Maybe we'll craft another one. I'll come back because then we can speed this up a little bit trying to <laughs> trying to make mayonnaise because I think we got what it takes to make another one. I have oh, the earth crystal I have is uh, a silver star one, but that's okay. I'd rather, you know, just have another mayonnaise machine. I'm not too worried about losing a little bit of cash, not selling that. There we go. But yeah, I think the mayonnaise machines should maybe be out here so I can just keep them like by the, the box maybe. And then once it's done, I'll, you know, put it straight in there, put it into one of my uh, containers. That, that's probably fine. Let's pop an egg in there before I forget, because they, they tend to take a while, it seems like. So I really hope I don't break this mayonnaise machine, but I think I'm going to move it. Don't escape, you little guys. I know you're, you're waiting to. Now they're big enough where Hambone's not going to attack them. Man, this takes a long time. I hope it's, uh, it's not, like, overnight or something, because otherwise... I'm not going to make much mayonnaise for these eggs. All right, so uh, I'm going to do some chores here, and then we'll head out into the world, and uh, we should see what's different. There's a There was an earthquake. I have no idea what is going on with, uh, with the town, but I'm sure something happened. Catastrophic, and I'm excited to find out. I feel bad, but I want to see what happened. There we go. Took several hours, but we got our mayonnaise. It looks spreadable. All right, don't eat that. It's worth more. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to sell this mayonnaise. We'll see how much we get for it, but this is basically how we're going to get money back for these chicken, and uh, that thing's dancing, but that's going to take a couple days. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see what's different around town now that there was an earthquake. Well, Alex needs a carp to rub on his sore calves. <laughs> He's been working out too much. Okay, and we can also stop by the blacksmith if he doesn't close before we get there and crack these geodes because I got a little bit of money from foraging and stuff yesterday. But yeah, I'm really curious to see what the effect of the earthquake has been. Something big must have changed. Uh, but yeah, I, I moved my mayonnaise machines. They take several hours to, uh, to get all that done, so they uh, hopefully are worth it. All right, let's see. We got some cheese slices. What is that? I don't know. Oh, sandstone. Okay. Craft singles <laughs> and a bunch of copper. Okay, not too shabby. I wonder what this the sandstone. Oh, we can donate it. I wonder if Gunther has something good for us. Is someone ever going to work at the ice cream stand? I don't know. Summer just started, so I shouldn't complain. <laughs> someone will work there eventually. All right, the sandstone here can go with the rest of the rocks. And it's still got to wait until we donate a few more things, I guess, to get another reward. I shouldn't be in it for the rewards. I should be in it for my civic duty. How you doing, Penny? We don't have a school here, but I'm doing the best to give Vincent and Jazz a proper education. Every child deserves a chance to be successful. I want to look for bugs, but Mom gets mad when I'm all dirty. It's a tough choice. Hmm. <laughs> they seem so grateful for their education. Okay, uh, I'm going to explore a little bit with the energy I have left and see if I can find just what happened because of that earthquake. Ah, oh, cool. They've got a window air conditioner. 
That's just like my office. Since it's summer, it's gonna be a lot hotter, I guess. Oh, <gasps> is this? Oh, railroad, cool. Anything else up? Just the railroad. <laughs> For some reason, I'm used to talking to things twice, but it's a sign. It's not gonna change what it says. <gasps> Baths. Ooh, so what is, ah, oh, okay. This one? Nope. <laughs> That's the women's locker room. You can't go in there. You gotta try. Not in real life, but in a game. Let me see. Any? Oh, Alex's locker. There's a bunch of pictures of bodybuilders tapped inside, taped inside the door. Also, an old smelly carp that he left in there after rubbing it on the sore for some reason. So we got a shower. There's like a weight bench. What is the? Is like a sauna? Can we go through here? <gasps> we changed. I've got flip floops and uh, <laughs> trunks on. <gasps> Here we go. We're in the bath. What? Whoa. Just kind of jumped in there. This is reminding me of uh, Mother 3 or something. Anybody way down in here? What is happening? This is kind of creepy. There's like no one in here. <laughs> it's just me. And uh, are we getting energy? <gasps> Let me see. Oh, we're relaxing. We're chilling out, relaxing, maxing all cool. And just, you know recovering <gasps> if we don't move yeah we just get a bunch of energy back this is awesome look at me i'm all tired and don't fall asleep in the bath uh we can just get all our energy back this is great so now oh if i do all my chores come up to the bath and then go into the mines i'll have a bunch of energy to do that as well so cool i'm excited okay oh jeez somebody <laughs> just flung me the bath monster was like you're done get out of here all right and we are done I think uh, I should check out the railroad, but this is awesome. I'm, I'm for once happy an earthquake just shook this tiny little villa <laughs> in this valley. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I was going to ask you before we go, uh, if you got here's the railroad. If you guys want to see longer episodes, I know a lot of you do, but if you want to rather see maybe like three days or four days in an episode, I try to keep these manageable so they're not, you know, too long. But if something, you know, didn't, something major didn't happen in the episode and we had more room, like if it, you know, we didn't have an earthquake or something crazy, then I could probably start putting more days and, uh, and quicker episodes together so we can, you know, see more of the year. But let me know in the comments what you prefer. For now, I've been doing two days and trying to highlight, you know, the big events. We've had so much stuff happening that these would be supersized episodes if I made them any longer. But, uh, spice berry, delicious. I don't know what it tastes like, but it sounds good to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this, and if you don't mind leaving feedback. We've got some blackberries. or oh, Yeah, the most, in my opinion, in real life, I think that's the most delicious berry. Sometimes they're sour, sometimes they're sweet. Always good to eat. Sounding like Gollum or something. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. i got to close this so my little chicken aren't cold. And I'll see you guys next time for more Stardew Valley. But of course, I always, you know, cut away, but then that's when we go to bed, and then, uh, oh, there we go, there's my mayonnaise. We're all fresh and ready to go. I'm gonna sell a bunch of this stuff. Get rid of the, the blackberry, I guess. It's, it's tough getting rid of some of this stuff, because I'm like, maybe I'll need it for bundles. But, I'm gonna take my chances here. Alright, good night, Hambone. <laughs> he turned to look at me, and we'll head to bed. Did we get anything good? Just a bunch of money from sap and, uh, or syrup. And our mayonnaise. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.